who gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> I don't <laughs> Dearly beloved, we have come together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to unite this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is a worthy institution proclaimed by God from the beginning of time. This ceremony signifies the great union which exists between Christ and his church. Christ blessed this ceremony with his presence during the wedding of the celebration of Cana of Galilee, where he performed his first miracle. The Apostle Paul commenced marriage as a sacred institution, which by all persons shall embrace. Marriage, therefore, is not to be entered into lightly, but to be taken seriously, recognizing that this ceremony is ordained of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined as one. Your solemn charge. Sunel Augustine, will you take Angel Latrice Graves to be your wedded wife, to live together according to God's holy ordinance? Will you love her, respect her, in sickness and in health, keep her and forsaking all others, keep yourself faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Angel Latrice Graves, will you take Sunil Augustine to be your wedded husband, to live according to God's laws in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, respect and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I will. I, I, Sunil Augustine, Sunil Augustine, take you, Angel Latrice Grave, take Angel Latrice Grave, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for better, for worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poor, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness, health and health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thus, and thus I pledge you. I pledge you. My faithfulness. My faithfulness. I. I. Angela Trees Graves. Angela Trees Graves. Take you. Take you. Sunil Augustine. Sunil Augustine. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, to love, and to cherish, and to cherish, until we are parted by death, until we are parted by death, according to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, and thus, and thus, I pledge you, I pledge you, my faithfulness, my faithfulness. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life. Send your blessings upon this man and this woman who we bless in your name, that they may surely perform and keep your vow and the covenant now between them made. Lord, look graciously upon them that they may love, honor, and cherish each other and so to live in faithfulness and patience with wisdom and true godliness that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. amen.
Bless, O oh Lord, these rings. Bless him who gives and bless her who wears. And bless her who gives and bless him who wears. That they may live together in love and harmony through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. 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 With this, ring, with this ring, I be wed, I be wed. and with my worldly possession, and, and with my holy possession, I be in thou, I be in thou, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> With this ring, with this ring, I be wed, I be wed, and with my worldly possessions, and with my worldly possessions, I be endowed, I be endowed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Those whom God has joined together, let no person put asunder. For as much as Saint Augustine and Angela Treese Grave have consented to live together in holy matrimony and have borne witness to this before God and all of you present and have pledged their faith to one another by joining hands and giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A portion of Psalm 139, verses 17 and 18 says, How precious are your thoughts with me, O God! They are more in number than the sand. These vessels of sand represent your lives up to this moment as distinct vessels, each capable of going its own separate way. To bring joy and radiance into your home, there must be a merging of your two lives into one. From this time forward, may your thoughts be for each other rather than for your individual selves. May your plans be mutual, your joys and sorrows shared. As each of you take a separate vessel and pour it into the center vessel, it shall ever remind you of the union of your two lives into one.
the patience that you have shown in bringing this vessel as one. Let that same patience be yours throughout your marriage. As this center vessel cannot be divided as it previously existed, let not your lives be divided. Instead, let your lives be united and as a testimony of a Christian home as Christ gives you godly union. Let us go to the In that you have both submitted your lives to Christ, in this your first communion as husband and wife, you now hereby submit your marriage to him. I proclaim you together to be flesh of his flesh, and blood of his blood. and spirit of his spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, who is now united to nail an angel in the holy estate of matrimony, grant them grace to live there in according to your holy word. Strengthen them in constant fidelity and true affection towards each other. Help them to pass through this world in faith towards you and in communion with your Holy Spirit. In the loving service towards one another, may they forever enjoy your heavenly benediction. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. now kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord look mercifully upon you with his favor. May he fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace that you may live together in this life and in the world to come. May you have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sunil Augustine. <laughs> Receive them as husband and wife before God and man.
Ladies and gentlemen, legend holds that if doves appear on your wedding day, a happy home shall prevail. For centuries, doves have represented peace, love, hope, and fidelity. When the bride and groom release these doves, they will ascend into the sky as a symbol of new life and new love together. You can release them whenever you're ready. Yes. It was a beautiful day. It's gonna be a beautiful night. Break out the champagne. Everybody get a laugh. Let's start it off sexy. What do you say? Uh, and all the ladies say. And all the ladies say. I think I like that. And all the ladies say. Welcome to the champagne life. Where trouble is a bubble in a champagne glass. Dreams and reality are one and the same. And we gonna do it like this. Oh.